As the sun goes down, the evening sun reflects on a small ancient village called Qingfeng Village, which is situated next to a lofty mountain range. The villagers of Qingfeng Village are quiet and hardworking, living a simple life. In this village, there is a young villager named Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi is an ordinary villager in Qingfeng Village. His life is ordinary and uneventful. His daily work is to cultivate the fields and take care of the old, sick, and disabled in his family. However, he has always been curious about the stories of the Jiang Hu, dreaming of one day stepping into the vast world of the Jiang Hu. One evening, while Zhang Yi was washing clothes by the stream outside the village, a group of villains dressed in black suddenly appeared at the entrance of the village. Armed with swords and knives, they threatened the villagers to hand over their hard-earned produce. The villagers of Qingfeng village were scared and did not know what to do. Only Zhang Yi did not hesitate to step forward. He knew he was not strong enough, but he could not stand by and watch the villagers being violated. In a fierce fight, Zhang Yi tried his best, but still could not stop the black-clad villains. In the end, he was knocked to the ground and died of his wounds. However, his courageous act attracts a mysterious traveler, a middle-aged man in a brocade robe with a faint smile on his face. This mysterious traveler fought off the black-clad villains with a surprising power and saved Qingfeng village. He reached out his hand and helped Zhang Yi stand up, then said to him, Young man, you have unlimited potential. The Jiang Hu needs heroes like you. Are you willing to embark on the path of the Jiang Hu and defend justice together? Zhang Yi hesitated for a while, but his heart told him that this was his dream and his chance. He decides to follow this mysterious traveler and embarks on a path full of unknown challenges and adventures, and his Zhang Hu story begins. Zhang Yi follows a mysterious traveler into the world of Zhang Hu. During their journey, they meet a group of like-minded companions, each with their own stories and skills. The first companion is a woman named Li Fang. She is a skilled herbalist and poisoner with a knack for healing wounds and a strong advocate of justice. Her goal is to take down the drug dealers in the Jiang Hu for the sake of justice. The second partner is a young swordsman named Zhao Fei. He comes from an ancient martial arts family and is a skilled swordsman, but he refuses his family's orders and chooses to live a free life in the Jiang Hu. Zhao Fei's swordsmanship is unrivaled in the martial arts world, and his goal is to find the long-lost news of his parents. The third partner is a mysterious female warrior named Chu Shui. She is agile and skillful with concealed weapons and has a mysterious background. Chu Shui has been searching for a long-lost brother, and her addition to the team adds to the mystery. The five-member team embarks on a series of adventures in the Jiang Hu, where they fight together against powerful enemies and evil forces. Their friendship becomes stronger in battle, and everyone continues to grow and improve. Wing finds himself not only learning more martial arts skills, but also becoming more determined in his belief in justice. However, the team also faces challenges and trials that they must overcome together in order to gain a foothold in the Jiang Hu. In the next chapter, a mysterious enemy will appear and have a great impact on their destiny. The five-member team continued to walk in the Jiang Hu and their reputation gradually spread, attracting more and more attention. One day, while they were resting in a small village, a mysterious martial arts master suddenly appeared. This martial arts master called himself Iron Hands and had a pair of cold iron gloves. He claimed that he was an avenger in the Jiang Hu and wanted to find an enemy who had hurt him many years ago, and this enemy was one of the members of the team. Zhang Yi and his teammates are faced with a difficult decision. Will they help this iron glove 
find his enemy? Their belief in justice tells them to stand up for it, but at the same time, they know that helping iron hands may lead to more grudges and put them in danger. After much deliberation, the team decides to help Iron Hands to find his enemy and at the same time hope to solve this confusing feud. They embark on a risky journey, following the clues of Iron Hands on a path full of dangers and challenges. On this journey, they encounter all kinds of dangers, including evil martial arts masters, traps and strange labyrinths. They must utilize their skills and cooperate with each other in order to safely navigate these obstacles. This adventure strengthens the team's bonds of friendship, but also gives them a better understanding of the intricacies of the martial arts world. In the process of searching for the enemy of Iron Hands, they discover more secrets of the Jiang Hu, and a bigger conspiracy is brewing. Confidently, the team continues to follow the clues of the Iron Hand in the hope of finding his enemy and solving the mysteries of the Jiang Hu. Their journey is full of surprises and challenges, and one unexpected discovery impresses them even more. While traveling through the dense forest, they got lost in an ancient, mysterious forest. The forest was filled with huge old trees, each hundreds of years old, with magical birds and colorful vines growing from their canopies. When the team is lost, they meet a mysterious guardian of the forest, an immortal with the ability to interact with nature. The immortal tells them that the forest is a sacred place of ancient gods, full of mysterious powers and treasures. Under the Immortal's guidance, they learn to connect with nature and receive the blessings of the forest. In the forest, the team discovers a hidden treasure chest containing an ancient map marking several important locations in the Jiang Hu, which seems to be related to their mission and the enemies of Iron Hands. This discovery reinforces their conviction that they are on the right path. However, the team's presence also attracted the attention of certain greedy and evil forces in the Jiang Hu. These enemies begin to track them down in an attempt to capture the treasure in the mysterious forest. The team must protect the treasure while continuing to search for the enemies of Iron Hands, which makes their journey even more exciting and dangerous. In this journey, they will face more challenges and adventures as well as discover more of the wonders and secrets of the Jiang Hu. Every step is a test and a motivation to move forward. The team continues on their journey, which is full of encounters and challenges. However, during this journey, Zhang Yi and his companions start to experience emotional entanglements that complicate their life in the Jiang Hu. In an ancient town, the team meets a mysterious and beautiful heroine named Lotus. Lotus is a powerful and magnificent swordswoman who is recognized for her mastery of the art of swordsmanship. Her goal is to find a long-lost relative, and she is caught in the middle of a dangerous conspiracy. A strong attraction develops between Zhang Yi and Lotus, and their shared belief in justice and adventure quickly makes them confidence. However, as their relationship deepens, they discover the complexity of each other's lives and the challenges that come with them. At the same time, Zhao Fei also begins to experience emotional complications. In a chance encounter, he meets a young girl from an ancient martial arts family named Yu Yu. Yu Yu is a gentle and kind-hearted person, but she is also troubled by her family's fate, and she needs to find the family's secret treasure in order to protect the family's honor. These emotions enrich the team's life in the Jiang Hu, but also increase their pressure and challenges. They must find a balance while continuing to pursue their righteous goals and support each other to overcome their difficulties. The team continues on their journey, which is full of encounters and challenges. However, during this journey, Zhang Yi and his companions start to experience emotional entanglements 
that complicate their life in the Jianghu. As the team continues to embark on their journey through the Jianghu while being emotionally entangled, their journey becomes more and more complicated and full of dangers. As they approach the enemy of Iron Hands, a hidden conspiracy begins to surface, revealing even greater dangers in the Jianghu. In an ancient temple, they meet a monk named Xuan Feng, who possesses excellent martial arts skills and profound wisdom. Xuan Feng tells the team that there is a hidden dark force behind the enemies of Iron Hands, which holds many powerful resources in the Jianghu and tries to destabilize the balance of the Jianghu. Xuan Feng also warns them that their enemy may have a powerful accomplice, a mysterious figure known as the Cold-Blooded Assassin, whose ruthlessness is said to be a legend in the Jianghu. The team must be careful in dealing with this new threat while continuing to search for the Iron Hands enemy. Throughout their journey, they encounter many complex characters and situations, including a battle against the forces of darkness, an ingenious rescue from a trap, and the deciphering of the face of the cold-blooded assassin. Each experience deepens the emotional bond between the team members and reveals more of the mysteries of the Jianghu. However, as they get closer to their goal, they also discover that a bigger conspiracy is brewing and the balance and peace of the Jianghu will be greatly threatened. The team must work together to solve this complex mystery while protecting the justice and righteousness they cherish. As the crisis in the Jianghu escalates, the team has to overcome more challenges in order to unravel the conspiracy and protect the peace of the Jianghu. They discover the mastermind behind the dark forces, a mysterious figure known as the Devil's Hand, a name that has aroused fear and rumors in the Jianghu. The Devil's Hand is depicted as a ruthless, cunning, and ambitious enemy who aims to rule the Jianghu and is in possession of an ancient martial arts manual that is said to make him invincible in the Jianghu. The team knows that if they don't defeat the Devil's Hand, peace will never be restored to the Jianghu. They embark on a dangerous hunt, traveling through dangerous mountains and trap-laden forests and defeating the Demon Hand's followers. During this journey, their skills and intelligence are greatly enhanced, but they are also caught in a trap designed by the Devil's Hand. In a thrilling duel, the team finally arrives at the Devil's Hand's hideout, a secret fortress deep in the mountains. Their duel with the Devil's Hand is filled with danger as the Devil's Hand demonstrates his formidable martial arts skills and brutal tactics. But the team will not give up easily. They are united to face the challenge of the Devil's Hand. In an amazing battle, the team finally succeeds in defeating the Devil Hand, but the crisis is not completely solved. But the crisis is not completely over. They discover that the secret manuals of Kung Fu mastered by the Devil Hand have been seized by other unscrupulous people, which puts the peace of the Jianghu Lake in jeopardy. After defeating the Devil's Hand, peace is restored to the Jianghu, but they are faced with a serious problem. The secret manuals of martial arts held by the Devil's Hand have been stolen and fallen into the hands of an unidentified martial arts master. This mysterious master is known as Shadow Soul, who is said to be able to make himself invisible, both in the Jianghu and among ordinary people. The team pursues the Shadow Soul in the hope of retrieving the martial arts manuals before they fall into the hands of evil people. The journey is full of challenges, as Shadow Soul demonstrates amazing stealth skills, leaving almost no trace. By chance, the team discovers the Shadow Soul's hideout, a secret cave filled with all sorts of mechanisms and traps. They enter the cave and start a fierce battle. Inside the cave, they are constantly interfered and attacked by the Shadow Spirit, but the team successfully breaks through one obstacle after another with excellent teamwork and martial arts skills. Eventually, they reach the depths of the cave and discover where the secret manuals of Kung Fu are hidden. However, when they were about to retrieve the manual, Shadow Spirit suddenly appeared 
and started a fierce duel. The duel is full of speed and precise attacks, and the Shadow Spirit's maneuvers are unpredictable, but the team will not give up easily. In a fierce battle, they finally defeat Shadow Soul and retrieve the secret manual of Kung Fu. However, they also discover that the Shadow Souls are not an individual operation, but part of an organization, and their conspiracy is much bigger than they imagined. The team must continue to pursue the case and reveal the dark secrets behind to ensure peace and justice in the Jianghu Lake. The team has successfully retrieved the secret manuals of martial arts, but they know that it is only part of a complicated conspiracy. They must continue to track down and reveal the secret behind to ensure peace and justice in the Jianghu Lake. By deciphering the martial arts manuals, the team discovers a key clue that points to an ancient cave that is rumored to be the hideout of the Shadow Soul organization. The cave is a challenging place to navigate, filled with mysterious runes and traps. When the team enters the cave, they discover a vast underground labyrinth full of complex maze designs and hidden dangers. They must use their wits and martial arts skills to unravel the maze step by step, all the while confronting the henchmen of the Shadow Souls organization. In the course of their quest, the team reveals a shocking truth. The organization's goal is not only to capture the secret manuals of martial arts, but they are also planning a destructive revolution to reshape the order of the Jianghu. Their conspiracy involves many powers in the Jianghu, threatening the peace of the entire martial arts world. In the depths of the maze, the team eventually encounters the leader of the organization, a powerful martial arts master named Black Dragon. He possesses extraordinary martial arts skills and is also the mastermind of this conspiracy. In a spectacular duel, the team not only has to defeat the Black Dragon, but also to stop his conspiracy. In a thrilling battle, the team finally defeats the Black Dragon and exposes the organization's plan. However, other members of the organization have escaped and the core of the conspiracy remains unrevealed. The team has defeated the Black Dragon, but the conspiracy of the organization is still looming over the Jianghu. They must continue to track down other members of the organization and reveal more truths to ensure peace and justice in the Jianghu. This time, the team has tracked down a mysterious temple, which is rumored to be a stronghold of the organization. When they enter the temple, they discover a hidden underground passage that leads to an underground labyrinth. This labyrinth is even more complex, filled with mysterious runes and dangerous traps. In the labyrinth, the team not only has to deal with the members of the organization, but also face some powerful martial arts masters who are the guards of the organization and are determined to defend the secrets of the organization. The battle is fierce and the team must work together and utilize their martial arts skills to the fullest in order to win. In the course of their quest, the team reveals a shocking truth. The organization's goal is not only to capture the secret manuals of martial arts, but they are also planning a destructive revolution to reshape the order of the Jianghu. Their conspiracy involves many powers in the Jianghu, threatening the peace of the entire martial arts world. The duel between the team and Iceheart is a challenging one, full of skill and strategy. In the end, with skillful cooperation and determination, the team defeated Iceheart and successfully captured her. However, Iceheart has not revealed all the secrets of the organization. She is just a part of the organization. The team must further investigate and reveal the real leader and target of the organization to ensure the peace of the Jianghu. Conspiracies in the Jianghu still surround the team and the shadow of the organization Heaven's Fury still hangs over the team. However, after successfully defeating the God of Fury, they finally got the key information about the whereabouts of the Master of the Underworld. The next journey will reveal more truths 
but it is also filled with greater dangers. According to the information, the Sovereign of the Underworld is hiding in a remote mountain range called Underworld Ridge. This mountain range is so dangerous that only a handful of people are said to be able to reach it. However, the team decided to venture to the Underworld to find out what the Underworld Patriarch was really up to. Deep in the mountains, they found an ancient temple hidden in a deep valley. The temple is the residence of the Underworld Patriarch and the meeting place of the organization Heavenly Fury Sect. The team sneaks into the temple and witnesses a shocking scene. Inside the temple, they see the master of the Underworld, a mysterious elder sitting in front of an ancient shrine, studying an ancient book filled with mysterious runes. His purpose becomes clear. He seeks to merge these mysterious powers to achieve unprecedented levels of power. However, the appearance of a small team makes the situation dangerous. They must confront the master of the underworld in order to stop his plot, and at the same time, watch out for the attacks from the members of the organization. In a thrilling battle, the team and the master of the underworld face off in a final showdown. In a series of highly tense attacks and defenses, the team finally defeats the master of the underworld and stops his conspiracy. However, before his death, the sovereign of the underworld reveals a shocking secret. He is not the founder of the organization, but a pawn who has been assigned to complete a larger conspiracy. After defeating the Underworld Patriarch, the team finally learns some of the truth about the conspiracy of the Heavenly Fury sect, but the bigger secret is still to be revealed. They must continue to track down the root cause of the Heavenly Fury sect and uncover the dark secrets to ensure peace and justice in the Jianghu Lake. The final secret revealed by the Master of the Underworld is that he has been tasked with accomplishing an even greater conspiracy and the true founder of the Heavenly Fury sect is still a mystery. The team decides to track down the source of this bigger plot to find out the real target of the Heavenly Fury sect. Their investigation leads them to an ancient temple, which is said to be the founding place of the Gate of Heavenly Fury. Inside the temple, they discover an ancient secret library containing centuries of historical records and documents. Through reading the ancient books, the team reveals the origin of the Heaven's Fury sect. Originally an organization dedicated to protecting the peace of the Jiang Hu, Sky Fury sect's goals have changed after several generations of leaders. The current underworld patriarch betrayed the original goal and started a bigger conspiracy. The ancient texts also mention the founder of the Heavenly Fury sect, a martial arts master known as the Star Monarch. However, the whereabouts of Star King is still unknown, and he may be the key to solving the mystery of Heavenly Fury Gate. The team decides to track down the whereabouts of Star to reveal more about the conspiracy. They believe that Xing Jun may hold the key to stopping the conspiracy of the Heavenly Fury sect and bringing the Jiang Hu Lake back to the path of peace and justice. The team decides to track down the whereabouts of Star, believing that he holds the key to stopping the conspiracy of Heavenly Fury. They start searching for clues about Star, hoping to find his trail and reveal more about the conspiracy. Their investigation leads them to a distant village where Star King is said to have lived. When they arrive at the village, they find that the place has been deserted for years, but the villagers still remember the legend of Star King. Through communication with the villagers, they realized that the Star God had left behind a mysterious temple called Star God Temple. It is said that this temple is full of mysterious power and may be an important clue left behind by the Star God. The team went to the Star Temple and found an ancient temple full of mysterious runes and murals. They go deeper into the temple and find a hidden basement with an ancient martial arts manual. The manual is called Star Key, 
which is said to have been created by the Star God and contains powerful martial arts and wisdom. The team begins to study the manual, hoping to find clues about the whereabouts of the Star Master. However, while they are immersed in the study of the Star Tips, they are suddenly attacked by the Heavenly Fury sect whose members have appeared at the Star Temple and seem to have got hold of their whereabouts. In a thrilling battle, the team not only has to deal with the members of the Heavenly Fury sect, but also has to protect the Star Tips to prevent the plot from being carried out further. They have to overcome all the dangers and guard this crucial clue, while at the same time searching for the whereabouts of the Star Master in order to solve the mystery of the Jiang Hu. During the battle at the Star God Temple, the team successfully fought off the members of the Heavenly Fury sect and protected the Star Key. Now they continue to study this ancient martial arts manual, hoping to find clues about the whereabouts of the Star God and prevent the Heavenly Fury sect from attacking again. The Star Guide is full of mysterious runes and wisdom and requires in-depth study to understand its mysteries. The team spends a lot of time studying the book and finds that it contains a key clue that points to an ancient mountain range known as the Star Mountain. According to the Star Tips, the Star Monarch once practiced martial arts in the Star Mountain, and this place may be his whereabouts. The team decided to go to the Star Mountain in the hope of finding out more about Star Monarch and the Heavenly Fury sect. During the hike up the Star Mountain, they not only have to face extreme weather and dangerous terrain, but also have to deal with the constant attacks from the members of the Heavenly Fury sect. This time, the enemy is even more ferocious and seems to have gotten hold of their whereabouts. However, the team will not give in easily. By utilizing the martial arts in the star tips and teamwork, they successfully repelled the members of the Heavenly Fury sect and continued to move forward. When they reached the top of the Star Mountain, they found an ancient cave called the Star King's Cave. Upon entering the cave, they finally met the Star Monarch, an old man with a mysterious aura about him. The Star King told the team the true purpose of the Heavenly Fury sect and the dark secrets behind them. It turns out that the real goal of the Heavenly Fury sect is to get hold of a powerful artifact called the Star Sword, which is so powerful that it is capable of destroying the balance of the entire Jiang Hu. The Star Monarch also reveals an even bigger conspiracy about a program called the Starry Plan, which will change the fate of the Jiang Hu. The team now knows the core of the conspiracy, but they must stop the Heavenly Fury sect, protect the Star Sword, and stop the Star Plan from being realized. Faced with the truth of the conspiracy of the Heavenly Fury sect, revealed by the Star Monarch, the team must act quickly to ensure peace and justice in the Jiang Hu Lake. They know that the key now is to stop the Heavenly Fury sect from seizing the sacred weapon, the Star Sword, and to stop the implementation of the Starry Plan. The team arrives at the hiding place of the Star Sword, a mysterious cave known as the Cave of Stars. The place is filled with a mysterious atmosphere, and the cave emits a strange light. When the team enters the cave, they find that members of the Heavenly Fury sect are already waiting there, and they are determined not to let the Star Sword fall into the hands of the team. A fierce battle breaks out, and the team must fully utilize their martial arts skills to protect the Star Sword and defeat the members of the Heavenly Fury sect at the same time. During the battle, the Star Sword radiates powerful energy to support the team. In the course of the battle, the team succeeded in defeating the members of the Heavenly Fury sect, but this is only part of the conspiracy. Next, the team must stop the implementation of the Star Planet. They learn that the plan will take place at an ancient meeting place, the Altar of Stars, and that time is running out. They rush to the Altar of Stars in hopes of stopping the plot from being completed. At the Altar of the Stars, the team is once again confronted by members of the Sect of the Furies, this time in a much more intense battle. This time, it was an even more intense battle. They had to fight hard 
to stop the implementation of the Star Plan and prevent the Heaven's Fury sect from seizing the Star Sword. In the end, the team faces off with the head of the Heaven's Fury sect, a powerful master in a life and death battle. In the spectacular duel, the team successfully defeated the head of the Heavenly Fury sect, prevented the implementation of the Starry Plan, and defended the Star Sword. However, although the conspiracy has been stopped, the peace in the Jianghu has not been fully restored, and there are still many unanswered questions and potential threats. The team decides to continue their journey to ensure peace and justice in the Jianghu, as well as to pursue the whereabouts of the Star Sword and solve more mysteries. The team succeeded in stopping the conspiracy of the Heavenly Fury sect, protecting the sacred weapon Star Sword, and preventing the implementation of the Star Plan. However, the peace and quiet of the Jianghu Lake has not been restored immediately, and there are still many mysteries and threats waiting to be solved. They decided to continue their search for the whereabouts of the Star King, hoping to obtain more information from him and unlock new secrets of the Jianghu. During the journey, the team meets a mysterious martial arts master who calls himself the Star and seems to have a deep understanding of the Star Sword and the Star Planet. He claims to know the whereabouts of the Star Master and is willing to help the team. However, the team must first prove their loyalty by completing an arduous mission to prove that they are willing to fight for the peace of the Jiang Hu. The mission involves resolving a long-standing dispute that has plagued the Jiang Hu and brokering a new peace agreement. The team accepts the challenge and begins to mediate the dispute while facing new enemies and challenges. In the process, they learn more about the complexity of the jungle and the importance of protecting the peace. In the end, the team successfully completed their mission, resolved the dispute, and brokered a new peace agreement. Seeing their efforts and loyalty, the Star Man decided to share the whereabouts of the Star King. With the help of the Star Man, the team learns the whereabouts of the Star Monarch, who has been imprisoned in a remote place far away from the Jiang Hu, a place known as the Forbidden Land of the Star Realm. They must travel there to free Star King and reveal more mysteries in the Jiang Hu. The journey to the Forbidden Planet is fraught with danger, with jungles to traverse, rivers to cross, and unknown threats to overcome. Along the way, the team also meets a group of masters who have been imprisoned by the Star King for many years, and they want to join the team to rescue the Star King. Eventually, the team arrives at the Starfield Forbidden Zone and discovers that the place is controlled by a powerful organization, the Starfield Sect, which has imprisoned Star-Lord in a tower in the hope of obtaining the secrets of his Kung Fu. The team has to go deep inside the Starfield sect and start a dangerous duel with the members of the organization in order to rescue Star-Lord. In the process, the team discovers the bigger conspiracy behind the Star sect and how their plan affects the entire Jiang Hu. In the end, the team succeeds in rescuing Star King, but the Elder brings a shocking twist. He reveals his years of practice and thinking that peace in the Jiang Hu should not rely on force and artifacts, but should be built on understanding, reconciliation, and cooperation. The Star Monarch decided to put down the Star Sword and stopped pursuing power. Instead, he wished to establish a new order in the Jiang Hu, gathering the wisdom and power of the Jianghu Masters to guard peace together. The team is shocked by this turn of events and realizes that peace and justice in the Jianghu may not only depend on strength, but also on wisdom, understanding, and cooperation. The future of the jungle will be full of new possibilities, but still full of challenges. The decision to turn the tables on the Star Monarch has put the Jiang Hu in deep thought. The squad works with him in an effort to establish a new order of the Jiang Hu, one that emphasizes understanding, reconciliation, and cooperation, not just competition in force and artifacts. First, 
They need to convince the various sects and organizations of the Jiang Hu to join this new order and be willing to put aside their hatred and rivalries in order to build a more peaceful Jiang Hu. This is a daunting task that requires constant coordination and negotiation on the part of the team. They also need to find a way to monitor the jungle to ensure that the new order is observed. They set up a Starry Night Club, composed of the best and brightest of the Jiang Hu, to oversee the affairs of the Jiang Hu, to settle disputes, and to maintain peace. However, the process was not easy. Some sects and organizations are still holding on to old hatreds and disputes and are unwilling to join the new order. Step by step, with wisdom and patience, the team must break down barriers, build trust, and reconcile. At the same time, they must also face some dissatisfied forces that will try to stop their plan to establish a new order. These opponents may be the dark forces in the Jiang Hu, or they may be people who are dissatisfied with the new changes. In the process, the team will also experience internal confusion and conflict as they must constantly balance their personal feelings with the bigger picture of the Jiang Hu. They must believe in the philosophy of Star King and at the same time remain vigilant to ensure peace and justice in the Jiang Hu. In their endeavor to establish a new Jiang Hu order, the team faced various challenges but also made some breakthroughs. As the new Jiang Hu order begins to take root in the Jiang Hu, more and more sects and organizations are willing to participate, put aside their past hatreds, and work together to maintain peace. However, the change in the Jiang Hu is not a smooth one. Some dark forces are still operating in the shadows, trying to disrupt the establishment of the new order. The team must remain vigilant in tracking down these forces and stopping their plots. In the process, the team also meets a mysterious Taoist priest named Star's Edge. He claims to have mysterious powers that can help the team solve more mysteries of the Jiang Hu and stop the plans of the Dark Forces. However, his appearance arouses the team's vigilance as his true motive remains unknown. Guided by Star's Edge, the team begins to investigate a mysterious incident involving missing Jiang Hu masters and ancient legends. They discover that the incident is related to the starry planet, which seems to be part of a dark force. As the investigation deepens, the team reveals a larger conspiracy about a powerful artifact called the Star Ring, which has the ability to control the power of the Jiang Hu. The Dark Forces are trying to find the Star Ring to change the balance of the Jiang Hu. The team must stop the Dark Forces and protect the Star Ring while solving this ancient mystery. They know that this is the key to the future of the Jiang Hu and are ready to take on this new challenge. The team decides to embark on a journey to find the Star Ring, which seems to be a new threat to the Jiang Hu. They know that if the Star Ring falls into the hands of the Dark Forces, the balance of the Jiang Hu will be seriously threatened. They begin to investigate the legend of the Star Ring, an ancient tale involving the stars and the power of the universe. According to legend, the Star Ring has the power to manipulate the stars and the elements of the universe and can change the way the Jiang Hu operates. Their investigation leads them to an ancient temple where the Star Ring is rumored to have been hidden. However, the temple has not been maintained for many years and is filled with ancient mechanisms and mysteries. The team must overcome these obstacles to penetrate the temple's interior. At the heart of the temple, they find a mysterious constellation map which marks the possible location of the Star Ring. Based on the hints of the constellation map, they decide to travel to the Star Island, a place far away from the jungle where they believe the Star Ring may be hidden. Star Island is a place full of stargazers and is said to be a sacred place for the stars and the god of the universe. The team meets a wise man on the island who calls himself Star Eyes and seems to know the secret of the Star Ring. Starry Eyes tells them 
that the power of the ring can bring new opportunities, but it can also bring destruction. They must prove themselves worthy of the power of the star ring by passing a test to ensure that they will not abuse it. The trial is a challenge that requires ingenuity, courage and teamwork, as the team must solve puzzles, overcome obstacles and demonstrate their commitment to the Jiang Hu. In the end, they successfully pass the trial and Starry Eyes recognizes their abilities and gives them the Star Ring. However, when they were about to leave Star Island, members of the Dark Force appeared and tried to seize the Star Ring. A fierce battle breaks out and the team must use the power of the Star Ring to protect the artifact and defeat the members of the Dark Side. In a fierce duel, they succeed in defeating their enemies, but they also learn that the power of the Star Ring needs to be used with caution. They decide to bring the Star Ring back to the Jiang Hu, bringing new opportunities for a new order of the Jiang Hu, but at the same time being wary of the possibility of abusing this power. The team returns to the Jiang Hu with the artifact Star Ring, ready to use it to maintain the new order of the Jiang Hu and ensure that peace continues. However, they soon realize that the power of the Star Ring is not easy to control and may bring new threats. The power of the ring is so strong that it can control the stars and the elements of the universe and change the way the Jiang Hu operates. However, this power can be easily abused and may cause more disputes and conflicts. The team must decide how to use the power of the Star Ring to ensure peace in the jungle. They start to set up a Star Ring committee, which consists of the wise men and masters of the Jiang Hu to oversee the use of the Star Ring and prevent its abuse. At the same time, they have to face the opposition of some Kung Fu forces who believe that the power of the Star Ring may be a threat and may upset the balance of the Kung Fu world. The team must use their intelligence and persuasive power to quell these objections and establish a framework for the legitimate use of the Star Ring. In the process, the team also discovers that the mysterious power of the Starring Ring may be related to a larger conspiracy and that dark forces are still operating in the shadows, trying to seize the artifact in order to change the fate of the Jiang Hu. They must protect the Starring Ring and at the same time reveal the truth of this conspiracy and unravel more mysteries of the Jiang Hu. The future of the Jiang Hu is still full of challenges, but the team is ready to face this new threat and ensure peace and justice in the Jiang Hu. As the power of the Starring Ring continues to exert its influence, the team begins to feel the changes in the Jiang Hu. A new order of the Jiang Hu is slowly being established, but the power of the Star Ring also brings new challenges and mysteries. They discover that the Star Ring is not only a magic weapon that can master the stars and the elements of the universe, but it also has the ability to connect the souls of the masters of the Jiang Hu. This means that those who use the Star Ring can gain insight into the minds and techniques of other masters, which is a huge advantage, but may also raise questions of privacy and morality. The use of the Astral Ring has also caused competition between different sects and organizations in the Jiang Hu, who wish to gain control of this power. The team must deal with these disputes and ensure that the power of the Star Ring is not abused. While investigating the secrets of the Star Ring, the team comes into contact with an ancient secret organization known as the Star Hidden Society. This organization seems to possess profound knowledge about the Star Ring and also seems to have connections with the Dark Side. They follow the movements of the Hidden Order in the hope of unraveling more of the mysteries of the Star Circle and revealing the plans of the Dark Side. However, they found that the Hidden Stars are full of mysteries and not easy to approach. In the process of contacting the hidden stars, the team also discovers 
that there are differences and internal struggles among its members, which makes it even more difficult to reveal the secrets of the ring. Eventually, the team manages to unlock some of the secrets of the ring in a fierce conflict, but they also learn that the true power of this artifact may be deeper than they knew. The team continues to search for the truth about the starring ring, while at the same time endeavoring to maintain a new order in the Jianghu. They learn that the power of the star ring goes beyond mastering the stars and the elements of the universe, and that there is a deeper secret. In the course of their investigation, they learn that the star ring was actually created by a legendary master known as the Star Sword Immortal. According to the legend, Star Sword Immortal is one of the greatest sword masters in the history of Jiang Hu, and he merged his soul into the star ring to give it great power. Star Sword Immortal created the star ring to protect the peace and justice of the Jiang Hu Lake, and he believed that this artifact could help the masters of the Jiang Hu Lake to better understand and protect the Jiang Hu Lake. However, he also foresaw that the power of the Star Ring might be abused, so he hid it far away from the Jiang Hu. With the rediscovery of the Star Ring, the team feels great pressure as they must decide how to utilize the power of this artifact. They know that if not used carefully, the Star Ring could lead to more chaos and conflict. At the same time, the Dark Forces are also eyeing the power of the Star Ring, and they are trying to seize the artifact to change the balance of the Jiang Hu. The team must protect the Star Ring, and at the same time, reveal the true purpose and legacy of the Star Sword Fairy. The team is under extreme pressure to make difficult choices about how to handle the power of the Star Ring. They realize that this artifact is both a great advantage and a potential threat, depending on how it is used. On the one hand, they realize that the power of the Star Ring can be used to maintain peace in the Jiang Hu and help the masters of the Jiang Hu to better understand and protect the Jiang Hu. This is crucial to the establishment of a new order in the Jiang Hu and will help to stop the aggression of the Dark Forces. On the other hand, they are also worried that the power of the Star Ring may be abused, leading to more disputes and chaos. They know that if those who have the Starring Ring have bad intentions, the Jiang Hu will be in danger. The team convened an important meeting of the Jiang Hu and invited representatives from various sects and organizations to discuss the future of the Starring Ring. At the meeting, all parties expressed their views and wishes on the Star Ring and reached a consensus on how to use it. In the end, the team decided to set up a Star Ring Protection Team which was composed of elite experts in the martial arts world to protect the Star Ring and ensure that its power would not be abused. This decision was supported by the majority of the delegates at the meeting, who believed it was the most reasonable solution. However, the Dark Side would not be satisfied. They sent a powerful army to try to take over the Starring Ring and subvert the new order of the Jiang Hu. The team must fight against this army to defend the Star Ring and the peace of the Jiang Hu. In a fierce battle, the team succeeded in defeating the members of the Dark Force, but also realized that the power of the Star Ring needs to be used with caution, otherwise it will bring about great destruction. The team successfully repelled the attack of the Dark Forces and protected the Starring Ring, but the battle also made them more alert and realize that the power of the Starring Ring needs to be used with caution. They return to the Jiang Hu and continue to work for peace and justice in the Jiang Hu while preparing for new challenges. In the process, the team began to establish closer ties with various sects and organizations in the Jiang Hu, promoting cooperation and exchanges. Through this cooperation, they hope to establish a more stable order in the Jiang Hu and prevent the Dark Forces from threatening them again. At the same time, they began to search for more information about the Star Sword Immortal, hoping to understand his true purpose and legacy. They discover that, 
Star Sword Immortal has left behind a series of sword skills and wisdom, which are the treasures of the Jiang Hu, and can help Jiang Hu masters to enhance their strength and insight. The members of the squad also undergo personal growth and transformation. They gradually realize the importance of the heart of the Jiang Hu, that is, to understand how the Jiang Hu operates, to respect the rules of the Jiang Hu, and to contribute to the Jiang Hu in their own way. However, the dark forces have not disappeared, and they continue to operate in the shadows of the Jiang Hu, trying to find a chance to seize the Star Ring. The team knows that they must remain vigilant and ready to deal with possible threats. The team decides to delve into the legacy of the Star Sword Immortal to understand his true purpose and wisdom. They believe that these legacies will help establish a stronger order in the Jiang Hu world, and at the same time, they will also be able to understand why the Star Sword Immortal created the Star Ring. They travel to the Star Sword Immortal's former training ground, a temple hidden deep in the mountains where the wisdom of the Star Sword Immortal was rumored to reside. However, when they arrive, they find that the temple has been taken over by members of the Dark Side, who are also searching for the legacy of the Star Sword Fairy. A fierce battle breaks out, and the team must use the power of the Star Circle to fight against the members of the Dark Side and protect this precious legacy. In the end, they succeeded in defeating the enemy and rescuing the imprisoned temple monks. In the course of exploring the temple, they discover a book written by the Star Sword Immortal himself, which contains his sword skills and wisdom. These sword techniques not only enhance the strength of the masters of the Jiang Hu, but also contain his understanding and vision of the Order of the Jiang Hu. The team decided to share the legacy of Star Sword Fairy with various sects and organizations in the Jiang Hu in order to promote the growth and understanding of the Jiang Hu masters. They believe that this will help to build a stronger and more united Jiang Hu order and continue to resist the threat of the dark forces. At the same time, the team also delves into the wisdom of the Star Sword Immortal in an attempt to unravel his original purpose for creating the Star Ring and its possible connection to the dark side. The team decides to delve into the legacy of the Star Sword Immortal to understand his true purpose and wisdom. They believe that these legacies will help establish a stronger order in the Jiang Hu world, and at the same time, they will also be able to understand why the Star Sword Immortal created the Star Ring. They traveled to the Star Sword Immortal's former training ground, a temple hidden deep in the mountains where the wisdom of the Star Sword Immortal was rumored to reside. However, when they arrive, they find that the temple has been taken over by members of the Dark Side who are also searching for the legacy of the Star Sword Fairy. A fierce battle breaks out, and the team must use the power of the Star Circle to fight against the members of the Dark Side and protect this precious legacy. In the end, they succeeded in defeating the enemy and rescuing the imprisoned temple monks. In the course of exploring the temple, they discover a book written by the Star Sword Immortal himself, which contains his sword skills and wisdom. These sword techniques not only enhance the strength of the masters of the Jiang Hu, but also contain his understanding and vision of the order of the Jiang Hu. The team decided to share the legacy of Star Sword Fairy with various sects and organizations in the Jiang Hu in order to promote the growth and understanding of the Jiang Hu masters. They believe that this will help to build a stronger and more united Jiang Hu order and continue to resist the threat of the Dark Forces. At the same time, the team also delves into the wisdom of the Star Sword Immortal in an attempt to unravel his original purpose for creating the Star Ring and its possible connection to the Dark Side. The team delves into the legacy of the Star Sword Immortal and tries to unravel his mysteries and the reason for the creation of the Star Ring. They discover that Star Sword Immortal's wisdom was not only in his sword play, but also in his deep philosophical and moral thinking. In the manuscripts of the Star Sword Immortal, he talked about the balance of the universe 
which he considered to be a huge ecosystem in which every star and every life played an indispensable role. He believes that this balance is not only realized in the Jiang Hu, but also in the whole universe, because they are all interrelated. The goal of Star Sword Immortal is to protect this balance, and his original intention of creating the Star Ring is to let the masters of the Jiang Hu better understand the peaceful mission of the universe. He believes that only through the power of the masters can he ensure that the balance of the universe will not be disturbed. The team also found that the Star Sword Immortals' many wisdoms taught them how to utilize the power of the Star Ring to ensure that it would not be abused. They begin to practice this wisdom to improve their skills and understanding. However, solving the mystery of the Star Sword Fairy is not easy as his life and whereabouts are full of mysteries. The team will have to search for more clues about the Star Sword Immortal over the mountains, hoping to find his relics and more of his wisdom. During their journey, they meet a disciple who claims to be the Star Sword Immortal and is willing to share his memories and stories about his master. The disciple tells them that the last whereabouts of the Star Sword Immortal was in a mysterious valley where legend has it there are more secrets about him. The team decides to travel to this mysterious valley in the hope of solving the final riddle of the Star Sword Immortal and finding more wisdom there. The fate of the Jiang Hu will depend on their discoveries and their understanding of the true purpose of the Star Sword Fairy. As they delve deeper, they begin to sense the immensity and complexity of the universe and the insignificance of Jiang Hu in it. They realize that protecting this balance is not only a mission, but also an immense responsibility. The peace of the Jiang Hu and the balance of the universe are intertwined with each other. The team will face more challenges and mysteries as they continue their journey of discovery while trying to defend the peace and justice of the jungle. They have learned the mysteries of the universe and are ready to fight for the peace of the universe and bring more light to Jiang Hu. The fate of Jiang Hu is still unknown, but they will bravely face the challenges ahead. When the team arrives at the mysterious valley, they finally find the last trace of the Star Sword Fairy. This valley is known as the Rite of the Stars and is said to be the place where the Star Sword Immortal practiced when he was alive. The valley is filled with stars and elements of the universe, which is mesmerizing. Deep in the valley, they found an ancient temple, the construction and design of which was full of mysterious mysteries. In the center of the temple was a huge star pattern with a sparkling gemstone that emitted a mysterious light. This gemstone is the last treasure left behind by the Star Sword Immortal and is called the Heart of the Star, which is said to contain the secrets of the universe. As the team approaches the star pattern, they discover that the stone is inscribed with strange symbols that appear to be an ancient language. These symbols are not only words, but also contain geometric shapes and constellations, creating a complex code. When the team takes a closer look, they realize that these symbols are related to the contents of the Star Sword Fairy's manuscript and seem to be the key to solving the mystery. However, these symbols are deeply interconnected and require special deciphering skills. The team begins to try to decipher the symbols and explore the mysteries of the valley, hoping to find more clues and wisdom about the Star Sword Fairy. They discover that the valley is filled with cosmic energy that seems to help them unlock the secrets of the Star Heart. However, little did they know that the jewel and the star pattern might not only be about the balance of the Jiang Hu and the universe, but might also involve deeper mysterious forces and greater crises. As they gradually unravel the meaning of the symbols, they discover that it is a secret plan for the universe involving the workings of the stars, the power of the constellations, and a mysterious prophecy. The prophecy hints at an impending crisis that will plunge the universe into chaos,
and only those who possess the heart of the stars will be able to stop it. The team realizes that their responsibility is much greater than they thought and that they will not only be the heroes of the jungle, but also the guardians of the balance of the universe. The heroes of the jungle will not only stand up for justice, but will also take on the mission of the universe, a secret plan that will lead them to a place they have never been before.